Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Finally, we are going to get a look at Atomic Heart, the game we have been waiting for for over a year. Oh! First heard about this in early January last year and I have just been ecstatic to play it. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get the contents out to you sooner. I had to let it download took longer than I thought it would. It was, well, with a 75 gig download, you can't expect it to go much faster, but I've got really trash Wi-Fi anyways. So there's nothing I could do. Sorry guys, I'm putting on a hoodie really quick. It's really freaking cold in here. Gotta keep it cold with the computers, right? <laughs> anyways, without further ado, let us get into this game. Uh, first things first, we're going to check out our options. So, mm, quality is on Ultra right off the rip. Fuck yeah. And it was preset? I love it. Audio-wise, everything's at 100 right now. If it gets too loud later on, I will go through and fix that. Gameplay is in English. Subtitles are on. Camera shake, okay. Uh, I'm not going to fuck with that. All right, let's let's fucking do this. Okay, so peaceful Adam, we are pleased to welcome you on an easy sightseeing tour of facility thirty-eight twenty-six, comrade. Spectacular and dynamic battles with robots won't take too much effort or di or dis or distract you from the narrative. Of course, you still have to fight, but only the plot will keep you on your toes. Local manufacturing. Oh, local malfunction. Uh, do you like the over? Do you like to overcome difficulties that are admirable? We'll leave it to you. We'll leave it. We'll leave you to it. This is no walk in the park. Some back. Some combat situations may seem difficult and objective, and objectives will require know how. But you can always be inspired by a sense of your own superiority after completing each stage. Just try to stay alive. Just try to stay more alive than dead. And then we have Armageddon. Do you have a vivid imagination of <laughs> dark thoughts? What can you do? This is that's just how it is. Buckle up. A real nightmare in this is in this is in store. You where you'll need experience reaction speed and the skills to properly manage your resources to survive save your bullets and always keep one in reserve for yourself um if this game turns out how i think it's going to turn out we're going to come back and play armageddon but for now we're going to play uh local malfunction everything i've seen about this game all the gameplays all the, the 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 trailers and the tips and shit this game is going to be fucking nasty like Almost Dark Souls nasty difficulty, just on the medium size side. Just on the medium side, so I am ecstatic to get into this. Again, I'm sorry they, they I should have been able to download this faster, but as it's the beginning of the week, everyone in my house is on the Wi-Fi working, so I didn't really have a choice. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, oh things are going to be too loud. I can we already tell. Rides afterwards. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't pause the game yet. Chelome City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Oh, man. 
Okay. Options. Our quality is going to have to be on high for now. Apply changes. Yes. Audio. Music volume. Let's turn this down to 60. 60. 60. 65. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, you know what? Let's keep everything at 75 for now. If things turn bad, I'll turn it down later. But for now, 75. There we go. Things are sounding a little better. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, bot. Here, bot. Is that still working on the robot's navigation system? Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. These boats are weird as hell. So you turn the wheel to turn the... They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. I'm going to remember that for later. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million! Enjoy the celebration! I mean, I know this is set in the USSR, but this is ridiculous. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. So, the German USSR, I wondered if... Because this is supposed to be back during Cold World War II, or like right after or before World War II, so I'm wondering You've been if... ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. I'm, I'm wondering if... Um... The reason that there's a German USSR is because Germany won the First World War in this game, and... Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826. Step right up. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrades. Oh my god. Alright, so we have to lower our fucking quality settings again. Yes. No sky's the limit, and no ocean is too deep now. Get yourself a thought for your life in an apartment in Chelme City. Get connected straight away. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing and just in time thanks a lot but i gotta go a newspaper what the hell do i need that for in case you're unaware our newspapers are a source of information i've got a talking glove on my hand can i just get the information from you comrade major may i remind you that good day comrade come closer i'm here to help would you like a thought device it's high time you got one no nah, thanks i'm just browsing no thanks i'm all set Mm, all right. Well, we're going to get blocked unless we follow the path, I guess. So let's just keep going. Amazing. 
I think they did a really good job with the building of this game. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. All right, so I can't figure out how to run. <laughs> well, that's our aim button. All right. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Wow. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! That yeah, yeah, horrible. yeah, been there, done that. Skip the four, Playbot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your eminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. All right. Cool. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Okay, tap RB and hold RB to activate scanner. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for sure. now, please continue with your mission. The fact that it's a double tap on the R is ridiculous. All right, well, let's keep going. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Still can't sprint. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. I have a bad feeling. Today, we 
We stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. Report to the lobby we of that high rise, comrade Major. Just one small step away, step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just so glad to see you're taking it easy, Soviet Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, natürlich. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. I wonder if V-Sync's on. Hang on, is V-Sync on? Because if V-Sync is on and I turn it off, I shouldn't get any tearing. Motion blur. Let's see. I'm going to go balance to start off with. All right, well, let's try that and see what happens. Maybe it'll stop Please cutting on me so much. Tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector, thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. This sounds a hell of a lot like Skynet, doesn't it? Of all individuals into a powerful mind, free of all boundaries. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Oh, let me through, ladies. Lame. Although for robots, they did a really good job making them look good. I'm not a robot guy, but that wasn't bad. Oh, there's no door. Setchin' off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So... What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. 
A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Wow. All right. So the graphics are absolute shit like this. Let's see if I can put it back on high. They still look like shit. Okay. And then we're going to go back down to... Ultra performance? Maybe it'll... Oh my god, that looks terrible. What the fuck did I just do? Dude, let me fucking sprint already. Okay, yeah, so we can't go on Ultra because Ultra sucks. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't want it to be like this. Automatic fucking. Thank you. Automatic, yes. Oh, Atomic. <laughs> Wow. That's one hell of a car. Oh. But it's still an internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress, though. They're turning out new models daily now. This one's a gas guzzler. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That will be something. Got that right. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Oh, they're picking up the car. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from one of them. Every I get city. it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from the that. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozios. How about some music? That's more like it. Well, I guess we just enjoy the view. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I <laughs> said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the Condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. 
I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. When is shit gonna, like, hit the fan, man? Although, this would be a hell of a fucking ride. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemé Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Cool. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio process unit and control nexus for this network node. All right. We are currently flying over sunflower solar farms, capable of supplying electricity to the higher VDNH, as well as the friendship of people's park nearby settlements and the maglev train lines. Maglev train stations in all of the facility 3826 allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in That's World cool. War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the collective 1.1.0 neural network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Trophus initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Your Watch out! What concluding. am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to has come to a complete stop. This is oh my god, I'm so mad right now. You have reached your destination. You are now at Laboratory 8 of the Rabbit facilities. Take my hand, comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. 
all the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Uh -oh. Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Fuck. Oh, this is gonna fuck. suck. Oh, fuck! I'm so sorry for the lag, guys. I don't know why it's so bad. My computer should have the hardware to run this shit. I don't know why it's, it fucking doesn't. This is really annoying. As soon as we get back into the game, I'm going to pause and end this episode here because we are at 31 minutes already. Oh, I can. All right, we're going to end this right here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Red Rays Rider signing off.